hello everyone this is Satya Prakash welcome to my channel in this video I'll show you how to fix SSL certificate missing in ASP.NET Web API this is the part 35 of ASP.NET Web API so before going through this part 35 please visit my part 32 that is how to enable SSL certificate in Visual Studio development server for web API or your web application so in this video i have uh, captured everything what is the solution and uh, how to enable the ssl so this is my web api application so this application i have used web api coding in across my all the sp.net web api videos so you will get all the videos in my playlist called sp.net web api tutorial so in this video uh, i'll discuss how to fix the SSL certificate invalid message error while you run your application in case of your web API or web or web application you can fix it so what is SSL, certi SSL certificate so SSL certificate is stands for secure socket layers a global stands standard security technology that enables encrypted communication between a web server and a browser to be secure basic authentication authentication and forms authentication schemes must use SSL in addition SSL client certificates can be used to authenticate clients because several common authentication schemes are not secure over plain HTTP so HTTP nothing, uh, nothing but stands for hypertext transfer port protocol this is the protocol so this authentication scheme send on encrypted credentials so there are two protocols basically used in our applications in case web or web api that is http and https so when i run my this web api application by default i am getting the http localhost so if you copy this url and uh, paste here in my notepad you can see the protocol is http right it is because in my visual studio if you uh, select web api coding project go to uh, click on a4 from your keyboard and go to your properties you'll see there is two url and i have enabled the ssl certificate it's showing true this is the ssl url it is using https and normal url it is only http so by default when you run your application you will get the http only that's the http url okay but when we use this https uh, I'll show you what is the things we'll get here. So I replace the HTTP with HTTPS, that is the port number. Okay. When I refresh, so guys, here you can see this is the error I'm getting while I navigate to uh, HTTP from HTTP to HTTPS. Okay. So you'll see the browser security page. Make sure. You click on advanced link to see proceed to http proceed to localhost link okay so there is advanced button if you click yeah, there is one more option called proceed to localhost if you click on this so I'm getting the result but still it's showing not secure okay if you click on view site information you will see that one error certificate is not valid okay and your connection to this side is not secure so to check it uh, to details uh, you'll see here uh, I, I am getting a invalid certificate message right uh, so make sure to click on the local symbol or you will see here the you know triangle mark a red triangle icon so you can see here the certificate is not valid this is the message i'm getting the reason for this is that the certificate that visual studio installed automatically is not a trusted certificate okay so to check the details more on it certificates go to inspect and while you inspect there is one more option called security and here you will get that the certificate I am getting and the certificate is missing or in the site is missing a valid trusted certificate that means it is not a trusted certificate so if you click on view certificate 
you'll get the details of the certificate okay this is the certificate details you'll get okay now we'll check the same https localhost using uh, our another browser uh, that is edge so it is the i am showing it it was uh, google chrome now i'm showing is using edge so i'm edge also i'm getting the same that is the you can see uh, certificate is not yet valid or has expired this is the error code i'm getting it's because the certificate is not valid okay so how to fix it to resolve this problem we have to place the certificate that visual studio has issued in the trusted root certificates folder so in the run window uh, so i'll click on open the run window here so in the run window uh, I'll type here one uh, exc command here that is mmc dot exc and click OK. So on on the windows that appears, okay, and click yes. So step number one is using run window. Uh, we need to type mmc dot exe and click OK. And step number two is on the windows that appears you can see the interface only console root folder there so here we need to click file and add or remove snap in so step number three is from the available snaps in list select the certificate okay and click add so step number four is on the next screen we need to select computer account radio button okay and then uh, we need to click on next button okay so here uh, you'll get uh, uh, snap in always manage so by default local computer this is not required and click finish so once you click finish you'll get under console root i'm getting the certificate local computer and click ok so as soon as you have selected i'm getting uh, certificates or uh, local computer option under console root okay and step number six is while we expand the console root certificates uh, button you can see there is many is there so as per requirement we need to select personal folder so it contains the certificates okay in this folder we will find a certificates that is issued to local and issued by local okay now you can see the certificate is available and the intended purpose is server authentication and friendly name is IIS development certificate okay this is issued by local host all right so this is the step six and step seven is right click on the local host certificate okay right click on the local host certificate and select all task and then export so while you ex export you'll get one uh, interface here certificate export wizard and need to select next while you uh, click on next you can see the export private key it shows do you want to export the private key with the certificate uh, so as per the requirement it's not required so i have selected by default as no don't export the private key okay now we need to select uh, next while you uh, click on next it is asking that is export file format certificates can be exported in a variety of file formats so there is three uh, radio buttons select the format you want to use uh, that is the dr encoded binary x.509 dot cr second one is base hyphen 64 encoded x.509 dot cr and uh, cryptographic message syntax standard hyphen pkcs has seven certificates 
dot p7b okay so as per requirements uh, we need to select der encoded binary x dot 509 dot cr radio button okay this is the step number nine we need to select next so while you next on the next screen provide a name for the certificate you are exporting so here i already have uh, created one folder in my c drive called c drive certificates here i want to export this certificate to this my local path okay so uh, the file name i want to export is i just uh, uh, click on browse and go to c drive there is certificates is there so this is the file name it, wa it wants so i want to make it as uh, file name should be i want to make it as localhost okay now click save so while you select this you can see this uh, path i mean in this path i have you mentioned the file name is localhost or cr this is a certificate extension okay so uh, this is in this path we have we need to export our certificates to our local folder so uh, the next step is we need to select next so while you select next you have specified the settings you can see here all right uh, so you have successfully completed the certificate ex export wizard we have specified the following settings so there is settings uh, some parameters file name export keys include all certificates in the certification path and file path whatever you selected now i need to click here uh, finish so export was successful click ok so as soon as the export was successful i am go to my local uh, c drive certificates you can see the certificate name localhost is exported successfully here right in this this file is available now okay now what is the next step is uh, we need to so uh, the previous step step was step number 11 so step number 12 is we need to expand the console root certificates local computer trusted root certification authority certificates so this is the folder i'm talking about there is also one more certificates folder is there okay so step number three is right click on certificates and select all task and then import so select all task and import so here you can see uh, it is also one interface is showing that is welcome to certificate import wizard so this folder we need to intend it to use for import purpose so while it's showing import import store location it's showing current user local machine local machine by default selected here radio button to continue click next okay so while you next that is of step number 14 and step number 15 is enter the compute path where you have exported the certificate and click next so remember guys here i have imported the certificates right we need to import this using this browse option okay so uh, I need to select the path where I have exported the certificates okay now open so as soon as you select here this path is available where you export I need to import this certificate so in the certificate it, it is it uh, available in the path here file name okay now uh, there is some notes more than one certificate can be stored in a single file in the following formats so this is the format I have uh, we can you can do it so is, there is some uh, formats like uh, uh, personal information exchange uh, dot pfx cri cri cryptographic message extension standard dot p7b and microsoft serialized certificate store uh, dot sst so as soon as do it uh, step number six is uh, we need to select next so while you select next select uh, there is two options okay uh, certificate storage certificate stores are system areas where certificates are kept 
so there is two radio buttons automatically select the certificate store based on type of certificate and second radio button is place all certificate in the following store okay now uh, on the on this screen we need to select place all certificate in the following store radio button and click uh, next okay so the certificate store is trusted root certificates authority that is this one right so we need to uh, click next and final step is 17 uh, this is completing the complete certificate import wizard this certificate will be imported after you click the finish so there is some following settings that certificate store selected by the user the user is trusted root certificate certificates and authorities content is certificate and the file name where you have selected uh, the path okay uh, so step number seven, 17 is uh, we need to click on finish so while you click on finish uh, we'll the, you can see one uh, pop up here that import was successful so click ok so it will refresh the trusted root certification authorities certificates so I need to uh, I can see my certificates which I have imported right this is the certificate I have imported uh, today uh, that is showing the date of expiry that is uh, it will be ex today's date is uh, so it's showing uh, this the expiry date okay the server authentication and none okay so this is the certificate I, ha I have imported so uh, if you just refresh uh, we need to refresh again okay okay let's refresh so we need to check here again the local host so this is the local host we have imported today okay so guys once it is done we need to uh, close all instances of, of the browser and uh, open a uh, new browser instance so guys after import the look uh, SSL certificate successfully under trusted root certificates and authorities I'll, I need to go to my browser so right and select here the HTTP localhost you uh, port number whatever showing in my Visual Studio development uh, properties so this is my HTTP localhost URL under SSL URL so I need to select put here so after, after putting when I refresh I'm getting the result without any certification error or invalid certificates all right now I will do the same thing using our AS browser. So AS browser also I am putting my this HTTPS localhost and and refresh it. I am getting the response without any invalid certificate error. So that means my SSL certificate is certificate invalid error whatever I was getting earlier it was solved after the settings uh, whatever I'm showing here in the console root uh, folder, right? So guys, in this way, we can resolve the SSL certificate invalid message error using the steps, whatever I shown you, using the console root certificates under this folder, that is personal and trusted root certificates and authorities. Okay, now, the in my slide, there is the important points I have mentioned, how to fix SSL certificate error. So step number one is, First, we need to export the certificate from personal to our certificates, personal certificates to local PC. That means this is the personal certificates to our local PC, right? We need to create the path and here you need to export that I mentioned in the slit, uh, in the sheet. Step number two is we need to import the same certificate. That means this local host certificate uh, from local PC to trusted root certification authorities under certificates folder so that is the import path that is under console root trusted root certification authorities and inside certificates after import i'm getting the local host right and you also get the expiry date if you don't have the uh, you have, you got the expiry date warning then you need to uh, extend your expiry date of this uh, particular certificate okay now after this all the settings here uh, we can use both HTTP and HTTPS protocol without any certificate error right so guys that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day